up? How are you doing today? It's a Thursday. Thank God for bringing us through the week so far. So I want to come today to share a quick word. Today I'm coming, actually talking about being unequally yoked. So I know the saying unequally yoked. Some people think that you're talking about an egg, but it's not about an egg. What it actually is referring to is 2 Corinthians 6 and 14, and I'm going to read the verse. It says, Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. What do righteousness and wickedness? What does righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or fellowship can light have with darkness? See, light is the opposite of darkness. So God tells us to basically just separate ourselves from the world. This place is temporary. Earth is temporary, okay? God wants us to be able to live eternally with him in heaven. So what I want to say today is basically just get ready for the plans of God because souls are finna be saved. There's still a lot of souls that need to be saved. And I pray, and I pray that God will do it. I know he will. So if you haven't given your life to Christ and you feel like, you know, you've been having questions lately, you've just been wondering what if, just cry out to God wholeheartedly asking him to come into your life and receive him as your Lord and Savior. And believe and confess that he died and rose on the third day for your sins and that you want to just live for him daily you know you want to get to know him get in his word you know learn about him and he will answer your heart just have has to be right to receive